How's it going guys, I'm Mason Alex. I know I have activity points, but I don't care. Welcome back to my let's play of the Golden Water Fire Pad, the Farm Warriors 3 Hopes. On to war. Sir, Viscount Phlegathon has sent an urgent appeal to reinforce the front lines on the Great Bridge. Acheron again? How many times does that make it today? <laughs> Only the fourth. He <laughs> sent eight requests yesterday. <laughs> that an improvement then. Thanks. Just tell him, message received, keep your chin up, and good luck out there. Yes, sir. You sure it's okay to just blow him off like that? I mean, I get that it's Acheron, but he can deal with it. That guy would rather foist his duties on everyone else than bother to lift a finger himself. There's a reason we call him the Weather Vane. It's a cruel twist of fate that a selfish lord like him controls one of the most important points in the Alliance. Claude, we are nearing the breaking point. My father has sent an urgent request for reinforcements. Oh boy. Things must be getting really dire if Count Gloucester has sent word as well. Then surely it's time for us to depart. We just need to protect the bridge, right? Yes. If it falls into the Empire's hands, there will be no keeping the war out of Alliance territory. I'd hate to see innocent towns and villages getting caught in the fighting. With the way things are going, though, I think we should be ready to abandon the bridge if necessary. If we go in determined to hold it at any cost, we could end up sacrificing a lot of lives in a battle we have no hope of winning. If worse comes to worse, it'll be up to us to evacuate as many of our soldiers as we can. The war with the Empire won't end with the coming battle, so I want to keep our losses to the absolute minimum. If the Great Bridge of Murden falls, then Garrick Mock will be in jeopardy too. That's true. And since Edelgard is set on toppling the Central Church, it probably won't end well for them. What are you going to do, Shamir? Will you return to aid the monastery? No. I have repaid my debt to Rhea. I no longer have any ties to the Knights of Saros. All right. Then let's adjourn this war council and get moving. Yeah! Let's do this! For the sake of the Alliance, don't hold whoop. anything back. I'm counting on each and every one of you. I was gonna say whoop whoop, <laughs> but Claude interrupted, so... So we gotta, we can't let him fall, we gotta persuade Linhart, guards. That would actually be funny. You know what? I think that would be really funny. It would be so funny. Nah. Though I do think it would be funny. So um, for characters, we, we're gonna move we're moving all the characters just so we can decide. I mean, we gotta bring Claude because he needs experience. Who the one to come along? So. Yeah, you. And you wanted to come along. Marianne wants to come along, so we'll bring her. Leonie needs some experience, so we're gonna bring her. Time to bring down our quarry. Last character, I guess we'll do Lawrence. I stand ready. So many of our characters are are ready to like fight. So we'll bring like Cynthia because because there's no mom. time to waste. And neither Ignatz or Shamir are good here, so we'll bring. Actually, you know what? They both are actually. Level 15, this is like a level 9 mission, so we'll, we'll bring Shamir. Let's move. This looks bad. We might have to abandon the bridge after all. Either way, we can't afford to lose Count Gloucester. We have to secure an escape route and rescue him. Let's not leave easy. We'll have to take the surrounding strongholds first. Oops. So <laughs> that would have been so funny if I just did that. I've got it. Please, excuse me. I'm not sure I'll be much use, but I'm coming to help. Let's try this. Let's see oh, how yeah, this goes. I, 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 now it is. There is nothing. Please, is this okay? Yeah. Let's do this. Tell me I should use that. Don't worry. Or have him be a fighter. Oh, no. 
stop hurry. My father's life will be in danger. Can we make use of the archers? Firing a volley right about now should do the trick. Archers, attack! It took you this long to arrive? Not that I expected much from our fraud of a leader. Mm. Yeah, sorry about that. We're here now, at any rate. Count Foster's locked in battle in the center of the bridge. Hurry and rescue him. We must save my father at once. I had hoped to achieve victory without bloodshed. We brought them to heal. Yeah, we brought Mary in. Please, excuse me. Is this okay? Take a breather. Yeah. Ah! 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 helping them. I go. Okay, where's the one? The one, the one, the one, the one. Or not the one, but this guy. Archer, I don't know how to pronounce Let's this. Let's try name. this. I'd better back them up. Now it is much. I will aid you. I've got it. Let's get there. Uh, troops, we are defecting. Move out. Looks like Lester's weather vane okay. can't. Got it. Time to make a nick. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Now it is my turn. Oh, Max is really bad against them. Huh? You're the little 50. You can get there is no sense right. the prevailing wind after all. No problem. Don't I hesitate to take them out. Time to show how strong we are. To abandon the bridge. Not a problem. I've got Count Gloucester. Go Order a retreat. I shall bring up the rear and draw the enemy away. All troops withdraw from the bridge post haste. Got it. What? This isn't our last Not battle by a long shot, me. so we can't afford to lose any more troops. Guard them as they retreat. I don't know if you would care, but I turn uh Lars into a holy knight just so I can get some more flashes. Now it is my turn. Are you changing places? Don't let them get away! Yeah. 
We took him down. I should have never thought the Empire my ally. Let's try this. Here. Okay. okay. So we got. Oh, my little. Okay, so. So. Retreat. I'd better back them. Got it. Whoa. I should go. Yeah, I'll back you. I've got it. Let's give it a shot. Please. Excuse me. Is this okay? Not a problem. I'm here to help. You can count on me. I... At least we disposed of one problem. It's safe to retreat now. Oh, wow. Lost our deal. Seems like it. Oh, not bad. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Oh, that's a lot of people back here just so I can. Now we got now we can recruit the old place Claude. Let's try this. You know Let's he's not good against them. You want to actually use a different character.
much choice, do I? Sometimes you have to fight even when it's a pain. Has the valley of torment frozen over? I never thought I'd hear you say something like that. Hey, it's my turn. Time to crush the enemy. Captain approved. Door. Hopefully, persuade Lynn Hurry that uh, Catherine won't get fired up. Okay, someone go out to the chest. Uh, who wants to come on? Yeah, let's do this. Forward, ho! You can count on me. Hey, could you go assist them? There is nothing I cannot do. You there. I would not refuse your assistance, you know. <laughs> None shall surpass me. So you captured Linhorn, huh? Sorry to ruin your fun, but I'm taking him back. Is he the only enemy general left? Then let's take care of him before reinforcements arrive. If we can spare the effort, wouldn't places. it be preferable to take out all the nearby strongholds? Please, I just want to... Yeah, let's 
Every single enemy, like you have to be every single enemy just to get somewhere. Almost done. I'll do my best to defend our position. Okay, we reached our goal now, so everybody's gonna go after Casper now. I vow to defend this location. The God, what is the meaning of this? Has the Alliance forsaken my father? Far from it, Lawrence. Just calm down and we'll talk this through. How am I to remain calm at a time like this? The noble House Gloucester has been relinquished to Imperial control! Considering his position, I'm sure Count Gloucester anticipated this possibility and has already laid the groundwork to switch sides. I doubt the Empire will lay a finger on your father. So you've been thinking Count Gloucester might surrender all along? The Count's greatest concern has always been keeping the people of his territory from getting swept up in the war. It only stands to reason that he'd prefer a noble surrender to a lengthy, bitter resistance. I expect House Ordelia will follow suit and pledge fealty to the Empire. Um, Lawrence? Shouldn't we be returning to the Count? If we go back to House Gloucester, we will no longer be able to fight for the Alliance. Is that what you desire? Uh, no, of course not. Far from it. I intend to remain with the Alliance Army as well. Assuming that's all right with you, Claude? I wouldn't have it any other way. This what war has only eyes? just begun, after all. Since we've lost the bridge, the Imperial Army will soon descend upon Leicester itself. We can't allow them to run rampant over our land. It's time to redraw the battle lines. I actually didn't think we were gonna complete that, honestly. Once. Gotta keep. Yep, we're back to that. I could. Oh, Claude got that MVP. Yeah, that's right. We got Linhart on our side, so. It's better than killing him. Casper would have been fired up if you kill, if you kill Linhart, so. Everyone yeah, here? Slam. Well, let's get right into it. We had to figure out exactly where we stand in this war. As you all know, the Empire has taken the Great Bridge of Murden. The Imperial Army now occupies what was formerly House Phlegathon territory. House Gloucester has surrendered to them as well. Doubtless an agonizing decision on my father's part. House Ordelia, to the east of the bridge, has also vowed not to take up arms against the Empire. 
we had precious little in the way of arms in the first place. You have my deepest apologies. You don't have to apologize, Lysithia. Count Ordelia did what anyone would have done. I think this is the And now you. Lawrence and Lysithia can't even go back home. That's not all. After the battle, the Imperial Army crossed Gloucester territory and attacked Garrick Mock. Rhea and the rest of the Central Church have apparently fled to the kingdom for sanctuary. Then I suppose none of us will be able to visit our old school anytime soon. I hope no one from the church was hurt. There's no point in worrying about it now. But they're all tougher than you think. Now that the monastery has fallen, the front lines are rapidly expanding north. It won't be long before Dare Drew is within their reach. And if our capital falls, the alliance goes with it. We have to stop them there, no matter the cost. That all sounds well and good. But how large of an army will you even be able to raise at this point? I don't think House Edmund will be able to send more troops. I'm sorry. Which means House Goneril is the last of the five great lords upon whom we can rely. I'm not so sure that combined forces of Houses Regan and Goneril will be enough to hold off the whole empire. We'll just have to work with what we've got. And let's not forget the hero of Daphne. Uh, who? He speaks of Judith, the head of House Daphne. She was once counted among the five great lords. We can definitely count on her. It helps that she seems to really like Claude for some reason. But we can't expect much from her in terms of sheer numbers. Any chance the kingdom could send troops? I doubt they'll have any to spare. They've just started engaging the Empire themselves over in the west of Fargus. And besides, I'm not sure how much we can really trust them. I still have no idea what's going on in Dimitri's head. Well, we have an idea of how big our army's gonna be, if nothing else. What's the plan? I'm still working that out. For now, all we can do is hold our ground and fight with everything we've got. You can always count on me. And my muscles. Thanks, Raphael. That unfounded confidence of yours is like music to my ears. Lady Rhea, Seneth, I'm relieved you both made it out unharmed. It appears we arrived just in time. You have our utmost thanks for aiding in our retreat, Your Majesty. I can only apologize for the trouble we may have caused your outfit. King Dimitri, I doing? cannot express just how grateful I am to you and all the fine people of Fargus. The honor is mine. Your order provided me with immeasurable aid during my ascension to the throne. My citizens would have branded me a heathen had I not returned the favor. And now it seems we are the ones who owe a debt. The church shall provide whatever assistance it can to your efforts. If you see it prudent, I have no objection to placing the Knights of our Order under Kingdom command. Thank you both. While it pains me to qualify our hospitality, this kingdom is not a wealthy one, neither in goods nor provisions. I fear we may struggle to compensate your soldiers, or even to feed them. You needn't trouble yourself with such concerns. Your generous offer of shelter will be more than enough. Very well. We've lingered here long enough. Let us make for Ferdiad. There's much to discuss. The church, the kingdom, and the battles to come. <laughs> this is basically the same cutscene except she has to replace with a kingdom soldier. <laughs> That's so funny. It seems the Leicester campaign is proceeding smoothly. Indeed. Count Gloucester's timely surrender allowed us to advance with minimal casualties. Ferdinand's battalion is tightening the noose around House Regan's territory as we speak. The Minister of Military Affairs is making the necessary preparations to move his forces into the Alliance as well. Once Count Burgles takes the field, we won't have anything to worry about on that front. Yes. And at the moment, we have little choice but to divert most of our military might to our conflict with Fargus on the Western Front. And with it, I fear Count Rose's abrupt change in allegiance will have only served to further provoke the kingdom's army. Ah, uh, yes, him. He disregarded our timetable and launched an attack on the kingdom without our approval. And in doing so, has done nothing but make trouble for the Empire. Still, we can hardly afford to abandon him. We have led our vassals to believe the Empire will always come to their aid. What a 
troublesome policy that has turned out to be. The policy may be irksome, but we will not fail to honor it. Dispatch immediate reinforcements to Count Rome. Understood. And what message shall I send to Count Burglis? I'm still a little wary of the Alliance's plans. But tell him we leave matters in his capable hands. Surprised she didn't mention anything about Linhart. We skip these. And that's where things are. It's only a matter of time before the Imperial Army marches on Regan territory. Once again, Margrave Edmund is only offering financial support instead of troops. My apologies. I'll do all I can on the front lines in my adoptive father's stead. And on top of that, he sent his adorable daughter to risk her life on the battlefield. Unbelievable. I'm so sorry for the trouble. You have nothing to apologize for. The blame rests squarely on your father's shoulders. Mark my words, the next time I see him... I think we get the picture, Judith. Save that fire for the battlefield. We're finally free of Count Gloucester and his overbearing pompousness. You don't need to go filling his shoes. Isn't that exactly why you called me here? If I'm to fill his seat, I assume I also get his right to complain. <laughs> Honestly, what's going on? The Alliance is facing an unprecedented crisis, and these great lords can't even show up to their own round table. House Ordelia has no ability to resist the Empire, given our location and lack of military power. Were my father to take his seat at the round table now, the Empire might interpret it as a show of defiance. I take it that means House Ordelia won't be contributing to the Alliance in any way. Two of the five great lords have effectively forfeited their seats. Why not fill Ordelia's chair with someone like Viscount Seward? Not happening. Can you imagine the fuss Albany and Burgundy would kick up when they learned we only asked Seward to participate? Those three houses have always been treated as equals. Besides, I doubt Viscount Burgundy could come even if we did invite him. House Burgundy's circumstances are much the same as House Ordelia's. In fact, their position may be even worse than ours. How are we supposed to stop the Empire like this? House Goneril was supposed to swoop in and save our skins, and even they couldn't bother to attend. <laughs> Leave it to my brother to eat some bad mushrooms just before an important meeting. <laughs> Don't you he make it for him? If Holst couldn't make it, then the Duke should have come himself. House Goneril has already pledged their full support. They're not the problem here. Then why waste our time with this conference? Our troops were provided by the Alliance's nobles. You know we can't act without a resolution from the round table, even if it is a mere formality. And anyway, the entire Alliance needs to be on the same page if we're going to coordinate our military strategy. Well, as I said, I'm afraid there's not much House Ordelia can do, even if we are informed. Be that as it may, we still have to get this done. Let's move on and discuss our strategy for the battles to come. This is it, folks. Right now, we need everyone focused on defending Deirdre. Here's the plan. And we never know what that is. <laughs> Kidding. We'll find it. Well, I'm pretty sure. When we fought the Empire at the <coughs> Great Bridge, it looked like they had a number of mercenary groups working for them. And yet, I didn't see any sign of Gerald's company among them. It's not like that was the only battlefield, and there's no shortage of mercenary companies. That's true. And you don't have any inkling of when the Empire is going to launch their attack on Deirdre? Inkling? Spatoon? No clue. They could strike tomorrow, for all I know. Then I imagine there's no time to waste in formulating a plan and fortifying the city's defenses. Yep. If we lose the initiative, the battle's practically over. If that's the case, then why are all of you just idling the days away? The army can't act until Claude returns from those meetings. It's like no one can even sneeze around here without it turning into an endless debate. Twitter in a nutshell. <laughs> a king or emperor can make things happen with a wave of their hand, but I guess it's not so simple when you're leading an alliance. Ruling by consensus may work in peacetime, but it seems to have a distinct disadvantage during a war. Hey, Claude's calling for us. Sounds like the round table's finally over. We better get going. If we don't hurry, all the food will be gone. It's not a banquet, you know. It's a war council. 
But yeah, we should move. I'll be right there. Let's start with introductions, shall we? Allow me to present the head of House Daphnel, the Honorable... The name's Judith. I'm joining the War Council at the invitation of our supreme leader here. It is a pleasure to see you once more, Lady Judith. I am heartened to know that we will be fighting at your side. You're Gloucester's kid, right? You've grown into quite a handsome boy over the last few years. <laughs> I'm sure all the men here seem like little boys to someone like Judith. Ah, Duke Goneril's daughter. You've grown quite lovely yourself. You'll be outshining me in no time. Are you kidding? I've got a long way to go before I can compete with you. I don't really know what you two are talking about, but I think I'm ready for it to be over. <laughs> Let's start the briefing. So, you want us to hamper the Imperial Army's advance in order to delay their arrival at Deirdre? That's right. And we'll use every bit of time we gain to tighten up our defenses around the capital in preparation. Then we have to avoid losing too many of our allies before the battle in Deirdre. Exactly. Hold them off as best you can. But the second you're in any real danger, I want you to fall back. It's easy enough to order retreat after retreat. But I don't see how that's supposed to win the day. Do you really think we can win this way? I wish I could tell you that victory is all but certain. But honestly, it could go either way. Ultimately, our goal is just to buy time until the defenses are ready. And if we can just stop them from taking Deirdre... Claude, I have to ask. Are you keeping some kind of incredible top-secret plan from us? Sure, I may have something up my sleeve. But it won't amount to anything if we fail to protect Deirdre. I can promise you that. But if we succeed, then this plan of yours will get us out of our predicament? If that's the case... Yes. Then there is still hope. You kids are all so young. Don't do anything rash and get yourselves killed, all right? All right. Let's reclaim all that time we wasted on the roundtable conferences. Watch each other's backs out there. I know we can do this. Well, that cutscene took most of the, the video. Man, got four of these. And apparently we're over there, so. Yeah, I figured the main mission would be right there, but. We'll be going from bomb to top. <sighs> yes! The man! The myth! The legend! Gatekeeper! We have gotten the Gatekeeper. So in case you're wondering how you get the Gatekeeper is that you need to have New Game Plus and the third, so you need to play all three paths on one save file in order to unlock Gatekeeper. And now I finally got him. Oh, uh, it is a huge honor to get him. Hmm. One step at a time. Anyway. So, Record Keeper, we can. Which battle do you wish to reflect? I'll continue right gathering records of your battles. Oh, all oh, right. We gotta go get all the other things for before we can. We finally got the legend, everyone. Hey there. Need something? Eh, we don't need See you around. just yet. Actually, you want? Yeah. Hey there. Need something? We have a. Uh... Is this it? Family. See you around. Master. Wow, well, well, come back soon, all right? Now we got the supply master. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. There's nothing to collect right now. Everything so we has can... its use. We got the man, the myth, the legend, gatekeeper. It's a huge iron head game for the first Which time. Which are you headed to? And uh, I'm pretty sure that means we can get a new monologue. Oh, wait, you have to wait for this. Yep. We will be doing this later. So. We. Oh, level 80? What? Wow. Wow. 
There's no way I can I can do that just yet. I'm gonna wait on that. I'm gonna wait. I have not gotten that prologue before. Make sure you're ready. Like I never. Oh man. Level A. And hold on, Marianne can have some more conversation below on the screen. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode, which probably won't be for a while. Nah, I'm just kidding. We'll, we'll, it's not going to be a while. We'll, we'll cover it later. So until next time, catch you later.